Sue, this is Kim. a special edition. <laughs> We're trying so a little the new. First of something new, right? Hopefully. Or dying with Hopefully everybody has fun. Science fiction thing. So you're not polarizing at all. No. 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 I'm, I, I, Certainly not. Ladies. We're all going to be friends at the end of this. Yes. <laughs> Just like the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, even from before our prep, I think there's going to be a, a contrast of, uh, of opinions for a couple of things, which would be cool. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, because Even we're not like hateful <laughs> losers. Yeah, like we can have an intelligent discussion right. and disagree. Like adults. Sure. Like grown ass people. So, so why don't we start here and we'll work our way around with introductions? So sure. We'll right in. uh, okay, we're talking about Star Wars today. I am Sue, co-host of The Mind Reels, the show you're currently watching or listening to. Um, I, I think we should all just say like a little thing. Like I first saw Star Wars as a little kid when mm. A New Hope came out. Uh, my dad and my uncle took my cousins and my brother and I to a matinee show. I remember droids in the desert, and I vaguely remember a laser sword, and then I think I fell asleep because I do not recall a space battle at the end of the film. Um, but, are. jump forward a few years to Return of the Jedi's release, I was on top of it. I knew I wanted to find out what happened to Han, I was all excited about things, and I was 12 years old, and it was the exact right time for it to take over my whole fucking life after that. <laughs> so, here I am today. X number of years later. Now I've just aged myself. Whatever. <laughs> um, and it's like, it's still like I eat, sleep, drink Star Wars, but I still manage to function in everyday life and hold down a job. So I'm pretty pleased with myself for that. Mm. Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> uh, Kyle, I first saw Star Wars in 1979 because I grew up in the Maritimes so and we get everything two years late. <laughs> uh, I was four and my dad took me to the Capitol Theater. I sat in the front row of the balcony and he told me I needed a seatbelt. I could not contain myself. I was so excited through the whole thing. Oh. And that just kept going through all the movies until the prequels. And then I got sad. <laughs> but now I've bounced back because the newer movies, I have a, a, a good affinity for them as well. And I mean, we saw last show at the VIP, so it was yes, a big chair. You were going to fall No, it was a big chair. I was a big boy <laughs> chair for the first time. <laughs> we reclined it. So Old enough to buy alcohol. Room. It was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Drinking boxes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, hello, my name is Adriana, and uh, I didn't like Star Wars for a very long time. I don't remember when I actually saw it the first time because it kind of passed me by, and I know, I know. Um, I, I'm an 80s baby, and, and it had just happened, and I fell into this. I fell into Back to the Future and Rabbit Rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> um, So I fell into Ron Rabbit and Back to the Future, so I was still sci-fi and like all these lovely things, but I didn't really get into Star Wars until my brothers were born, so I was already like pre-teen tween, and then, and then the badness happened, which are the prequels, and I had a high school boyfriend that patterns. made me wait in line for the clickers. Do you remember the clickers? The, you know what the clickers yes. are. He needed to have every single clicker with the chip that talks to you, oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. it was the bane of my existence. Oh my god, I forgot all of yeah. I did. about those. <laughs> so that was the, and I just, I just was like, I don't understand about Star Wars this whole time. And then we get into comic books, and I love Mara Jade because MJ is my bae in any universe, in Marvel and or Star Wars. <laughs> um, and then these really sweet new things come out with Rey and Rose and fucking kick-ass ladies, and I am there. So that is that is my attack. Nice. Sweet. I'm Doug. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm also an 80s baby, so I miss the whole theatrical side of it. And uh, but I, I was big into both Star Wars and Star Trek when I was a kid. Um, mm -hmm. One of my best friends, Mike Maloney, and he was a huge Star Wars guy, so whenever I was hanging out with him, we would just play Star Wars all the time. And then uh, whenever I was at home, we would just watch Star Trek every Friday night and have pizza and then pop, and that was like the biggest yes. thing, whether it's on the awesome. you know, Generation or uh, DS9 or Voyager or Enterprise later on. So, um, so I loved them both, which I guess is might be a polarizing thing. Um, yeah, with you. Good, yeah. sweet. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, mean, I, I also... I <laughs> might be a little more Trek, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I may not have a whole lack of love for the prequels either, and I'm I have mixed feelings about the new ones, but I'm gen like generally feeling positive about what it's going to mean for the storytelling of that universe, which is great. I'm not super pleased that they threw out all of the canon up until the point of, like, it just seemed a little stupid, um, but that's fine, so. 
Okay. <laughs> Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Everything's on We should actually come back to that point after. We're totally coming back yeah. to that. Yeah. Right after we introduce who I am. I'm Tim, of course, the other side of the mind reels. Um, I saw Star Wars late 77, first summer it came out. Uh, I was in Borden, Ontario. It was our first night on the base. We just moved there. I was getting ready to start, what would that be, like grade three, I think it was. Um, we just moved from North Bay. We were driving around the base to kind of get the lay of the land. And there was the base theater, and my dad kind of gets out of our VW Rabbit and ran across just to see what was going on, you know, see what was playing, and he comes back and says, there's some movie room, Star Wars, and I had already started collecting the Topps cards. So I had, and I remember my first ones, and I'm like, and I'm like, we have to see this! <laughs> and it's got like, wars in the title! Okay. <laughs> and so I sat there, much like I did with Jaws, what, two years earlier, and I just ate the entire thing up, and I bought my Zines. I had pictures on the cover and pasted them on my walls. I had like the first run of action figures when they came out. And Star Wars and, and Star Trek was my life. And then Battlestar because it was all at the same yeah. time. Oh, it was like, all it was all happening. And, like everywhere I turned, it was like it was more science fiction. It just opened up this whole world to me. But Star Wars and Star Trek are like the two touchstones for me. Yeah. 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 But yeah, let's let's actually let's jump right on the canon thing right off the bat. I mean, we're fans though. We don't, <laughs> we don't have ownership of of the product in the end. We, we can buy it, but that doesn't mean we own it. So, I mean, no. why... But it's the negating. We... I love continuation. Mm -hmm. I'm always saddened by reboot, because I feel like we are all adults here. We know that Harrison Ford aged, so why do we need to reboot that? Or yeah. com coming out of the Star Wars ness 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 the, the <laughs> Ghostbusters thing, where it's like, why could that not have been a continuation and use the characters? Yeah because they were already there, right? They were, Dan Aykroyd was the cabbie driver, moving on. Um, <laughs> that we, why can't we continue that? And so I'm really excited about this continuation of the Skywalker uh, mm -hmm. epic into this new chapter that we're starting, well, in, um, and things like Rogue One that expand the universe. But I don't really necessarily like, well, you know, what if we just do away with everything for the past, what, 25 plus years? Like, that that hurts because also, again, I'm showing my nerves, they did that um, to Spider-Man when they were like, you know what, he's been married too long. Let's True. just... Yeah. Let's just start, start, over, start over again. Yeah. And it's and it wasn't so much let's start a new universe, which mm -hmm. again is something that I appreciate with what's going on right now with, with Rogue One and whatnot, yeah. um, is continuing stories, is that... But you, we built love and we built loyalty and we built stewardship through those characters, like Mara Jade. Stewardship's a good word, but I mean, we've seen some of the characters from the extended universe start to slip in now into the new universe, like Thrawn yeah. is here now. Which means maybe. Which means maybe Mara Jade may be coming in somewhere down the line. Maybe it's just a whole different. It just twist. sucks that it's kind of like a kick. We, we, like, it just kind of feels I mean, we like invested for 25 years. I bought the toys, I bought yes. the comics, <laughs> I bought the costume, I made the costume. And then you're saying, no, no. That's not that's not a that's thing not anymore. That's not a thing anymore, yeah. I will shut up now. And I think but that was it. Like, like I was yeah. just emotionally invested in those characters okay. and those stories. And that was my one sort of disappointment with Force Awakens was um, to me it seemed kind of simple story wise compared to some of the stuff the expanded universe had done. Mm -hmm. Like I loved some of the I'm like, really? It's just a watered down empire that we're dealing with now in the first order? <laughs> It's like all the same bad guys, like they just never, we never learn, <laughs> apparently. And also, they never learn. Yeah. They are, they, they're just continuing to thing. invade Russia yeah. <laughs> over and over again, and they're not getting better at invading Russia. No. They're just going to keep on trying. And sooner or later, maybe. Um, which is crazy to me. I, like, it's, I'm kind of of two minds of it. I, I'm, I'm, well, that's not true. I'm not super pleased that they just lit all of the cannon on fire. That being said, there were so many cooks in that kitchen that like they would have had to have yeah. choose sure. anyway. So it may have been easier to burn down the forest to find their path. Um, and it's not that it's not like comics don't do that all the time. DC just rebooted their entire universe. Sure. Um, you know, Marvel does that all the time. But I, I just felt like. I don't know, with the deeply ingrained fan culture of Star Wars, I think that they probably could have done it in a way that softened the blow, or at least carried over some of the most prominent and deeply mm -hmm. loved and entrenched storylines. And I'm not even like a huge connoisseur of the the, the canon. Um, like my, my extent of, of it is playing the Force Unleashed games, and I 
fucking love dump. <laughs> yeah. It's like Starkiller needs to be in this shit. And um, and uh, but but for just people who are like I, I'm on a long time kind of like kind of sort of fantasy novels and all sorts of stuff. So you just get so into like the extended universe of everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I feel like in just in just lighting it all on fire, they didn't just sort of. It's because we like, didn't have movies then. Yeah. Had we had That's movies the then, it'd be different. Yeah. But that was all we had. If we wanted Star Wars, we had to read the comics, we had to read yeah. the novels, yeah. we had to play with the toys, we had to play the games, and yeah. and then they just said like you know everything that you've you know been raised on for the last two decades, yeah. uh, it just, it's anymore. not real anymore. Yeah. 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 Now it's time to like now I feel like we, yeah. we were putting in an asylum that time, we had an alternate reality going on, and now, right. just this kidding. The right one. Yeah. And the, the new one, it's like, I'm getting more into it um, now with Last Jedi than I, I liked Force Awakens, but again, I just felt like it was a little bit too much, like story set up, I guess, and it had to be yeah. to start the new, the world anew. But to me, it was like, man, there are so many more cool things that could have happened, that did happen yeah. in my reality, <laughs> <laughs> that just don't exist anymore. And so, to me, I just felt like, now we have to start over for the people who couldn't catch up, I guess. Yeah, like the thin, the, the cinema, the yeah, Star Wars fans as opposed to the Star Wars fans. Yeah, and that's why I think it's really interesting that Marvel, I give much more acceptance to what they're doing with their uh, force burn mm -hmm. is because they say MCU. They're yes. very yeah. definitive of yeah. what universe we are in, yeah. you know, and, and that we can play with, well, you know, year 616 and whatnot. They're all very separate. Yeah. And then in the MCU, we have something that's a bit of a convergence of those things, and they, they do it well, where they, they pick the things that we've loved mm -hmm. and, and melded it together in such a way that I thought that that's what was going to happen when the whole merger with Disney and Star Wars was going to happen. But no, burn. Burn it all. <laughs> well, and and like you said, there's, it, it's not saying that some stuff still can't come back. Yeah. This is the hope. This is the hope. A new hope. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if Nancio's got Ken Ojeg is doing a fantastic job mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. running that universe, because he's got a vision for it. And now we're seeing people just pile on to Kathleen Kennedy saying that, you know, this is all her fault that Star Wars is not going as well as it is. And, you know, I don't no, and I don't think it's going that badly. Bad no. <laughs> like no. it's, yeah, I mean, you're also dealing with, I don't know, like, I think a lot of the Star Wars, oh, this is where the polarizing conversation starts. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of the Star Wars fandom are people that, like, have fallen in skin to their shin and are like, oh my god, my leg is broken, and it's not, and you need to just shut yeah. the fuck up about it, and you need to just, like, let the storytellers tell the story, because yeah. if, if you could do it, then you'd be you do doing it. it. Yeah. yeah. Which isn't which which isn't to say that like and, and I say that actually hopefully encouragingly, if you believe you can do it, then fucking tell stories. Yeah. Like yeah. get like fight to get into whatever world you possibly can. But I feel like it's dangerous feeling like as a fan you have ownership over the stories you're being told because you don't and you shouldn't. Be because because you're not the storyteller. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, it isn't your world. It's somebody else's. Whether it be George Lucas who created it, or the people that had like fucking billions of dollars to buy it off of mm -hmm. Like at the end of the day, like they are the people putting in the hours to take twenty six letters and rearrange them in new and interesting space ways. Yeah. And you're not. So so it's but it's tough because that's a really hard pill to swallow because then you're forced into this thing where it's like okay I loved these three movies the original yeah. three right. And now I'm, I'm like they've taken the ingredients of those and they've given me these pills and I don't necessarily want to swallow those pills and that's a hard thing because you may actually be in a position where you're like I, don't know, I just don't want to watch it. Yeah. And 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 that then like sucks. don't watch it. But it also, <laughs> but fine. I also don't think it diminishes anything about your love of what the first three films meant right. to you. Like mm -hmm. like it's it's tough. But I, I'm also coming at that from a producerial angle and from all sorts of things. So I'm I can just be an asshole. No, but the, the other thing too is we live in an age where anybody can be a storyteller. Sure. We've got YouTube, yeah. we've got yeah. fanfic, like we've There's got so much. <laughs> we can make movies on our phone, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. if you can't do that, you can even cosplay. You can D and D, mm -hmm. right? Like you can do all these role playing things. Like you can create the universe that you want to be in. Yeah. If that's not for you, it is a hard pill to swallow yeah. because you do like there is that rush and that nostalgia that when you get in there and you hear and you see the scroll and whatnot, mm -hmm. that it really, it feeds something in you, and I think that that's where that... Maybe you cry a little. <laughs> <laughs> a little? <laughs> yeah. Shut up! 
<laughs> it's, it's, it's really tough because, like, um, go, going back to like fantasy novels. Anybody here read, read, read The Wheel of Time, Robert Jordan? I read mean to read. Like, it, yeah, I read one. I, book yeah, I mean, I I grew up on them, and I, I think that that's how a lot of people get into that. In like uh, the first nine books, I really enjoy, and then there's like a few books that are just nothing and then like he died and we were all like oh you're never going to get those books you're never going to get the continuous like what's what everybody's afraid of George, George R. R. Martin. Martin where are where's the like, he's <laughs> get writing get like, writing Lord knows in all of this time that he's not writing books he's certainly right. not getting any fucking healthier <laughs> <laughs> um, he's just like just red meat and whiskey and and not writing and uh, and then and then Brendan Sanderson picked it up and the last couple of books were, were based off of Robert Jordan's outlines and so like I'm like I cherish to this day the beginning of that that storytelling arc mm -hmm. and I hate the middle of it and I love the end of it mm -hmm. even though it was picked up by another storyteller um, but but there is like a huge chunk where it's like oh, I kind of want to swallow any of those pills and if yeah. I yeah. Perfect yeah. Yeah. yeah I I, I don't the first I, I, I just think yeah. yeah the new ones yeah and it still exists it's there on your shelf you can always pick it up exactly yeah. Yeah. that's the whole thing I yeah. did the same thing with Walking Dead I actually read it first and it was gorgeous and it made me cry like <laughs> ugly cry in chapters because I'm like oh do, have I read this one oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and then I started watching it and like nope this isn't for me and instead of pitching a fucking fit I yeah. turned it off I just didn't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing just that's stop like stop right? supporting the things yeah. that you don't like. But right. also like stop shitting on people because they don't like the same things right. as you, which yeah. is a life lesson, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. So okay. okay. learn though. No, I it's wonder if part of it has um anything like there's a whole culture around spoilers and not spoiling mm. oh. now, especially with social media. But I wonder if because like like Force Awakens comes out, I watch it like three or four times in the theater, and then every time I got together with somebody else who had seen it. We're like on theories. We're like having the whole thing. It's all very exciting. We're like, oh, I want to know what this means, and it could be this, and blah. But you know, a lot of that just got thrown out with Last Jedi. Maybe again, it's not a written full story yet. There's another movie coming. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Stuff can still happen. Um, don't believe everything a Sith guy says. But uh, on top of that, like I love theorizing, and I'm okay with being wrong because I also love being surprised. Yeah. So I'm alright with like, yeah. it's okay with me if uh, Ryan Johnson does something that I did not so I can fucking see coming because I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'm all in on that. Yeah. I'm like ready for it. And the other thing is too, is that who's to say they're not listening? Right? Like fan theories can't feed them. Yeah. Like, Ooh, that, totally. That's good. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It can have a story for sure. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that scares me about this new trilogy, which let's be clear, I am enjoying a lot, um, is that like for the original trilogy, Lucas had an idea. Prequel trilogy, yes, he had an idea, and he had an idea for all three. Whereas, from what I've what I've read, so I could be completely wrong, is that these movies, like uh, Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, they're being written without knowing where they're going. Mm -hmm. They don't know the last story. So I know at this point Abrams and Kennedy have pitched the story, but they didn't know what Ryan Johnson had written until it was you know on the screen basically, and then they don't know what Abrams doing. So. So there's no like there's no showrunner. There? Yeah, there's no that, that's my thing. That, that I don't think there's a showrunner wow. as much as there is in the MCU, and that might be a problem. That would explain things. Yeah, right. it might be. Yeah. Did JJ have any idea? Wait, like, so did he know when he did Force Awakens that he would also be doing? No, it was originally supposed yeah. to be uh, Colin Trevorrow. Tre 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 ah. the guy who did Jurassic World. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so open though now. There's so much you can do. I think that's exactly all we need to say about that. Right. I just want the world to know how much I hated Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom and how terrible it was and how it's the film equivalent of cancer. There's a great clip online where everyone wears high heel shoes. And seeing a T-Rex in the oh, yeah. oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. it's great. And I wanted to state that I wanted to love Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Because we didn't I love that it was really lovely, and I love that franchise so much. At least it was and a continuation. I, so <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. Does Jeff Goldblum go talk us? No. Exactly. What's the point then? Yeah. Missed opportunity. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Goldblum. Goldblum the There's going to be no tattoos coming out of that one. But yeah, go see it. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, uh, it's only a minute. And then, and then speaking of going to see it, so you watch how I segue into this now. Um, are are the films coming too quickly? Yeah. Because we talked about this before the camera started rolling, where 
when we were kids, for those of us who were there through the 70s and the 80s and even the, the prequel trilogy, you had to wait. You had to wait like two to three years. I mean, in 1977 when Star Wars came out, that was the shit. I mean, what? this is amazing. And then you learn like the year 1980 comes along with, there's, there's going to be another Star Wars. <laughs> I lost my shit. A better Star Wars. Yeah. Right? Arguably a better Star Wars. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. Arguably. And right after that, I'm like, as soon as that ends, you know there's another one coming. But you're like, what do you mean I have to wait three more years? Yeah. And at nine, three years. They had time to re-release it. Time. Time. That's, That's true. true. That's like, true. Yeah. 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 I don't want to bring up how long I'm waiting for Westworld. Like, it's just... <laughs> you, and, and, did you and. watch season two? No, because oh. they won't do it other than their stupid HBO Go. If right. you're listening, HBO, <laughs> get a better streaming service so I don't have to pirate. That's stupid. <laughs> I want you to have my money dollars. Oh. Um, but on that note, um, <laughs> it seems like TV is taking longer than movies these days. Some and I don't really understand that. Why you? Is budget, yeah. but also like I'm watching uh, Star Trek New Star Trek with my dad. Sure. Speaking of Star Trek, um, my dad and I made it a ritual, and so now as an adult, I still have uh, daddy daughter time, and we watch Star Trek, oh, and I cannot so watch it without him. So uh, thank you for the streaming service uh, because <laughs> I can watch it with him. And uh, my point was, oh, he's watching it, and he's like, great. So I'll see you in about like what a month, and I'm like why there's seven more episodes. And he was like, shut up. <laughs> They're so good. Like, because the quality and like the pump out yeah. and everything, he was fascinating. He's like, but this is, but they're doing it for an hour. And I'm like, mm -hmm, every week. Just down the street, actually, daddy. Yeah. And he's like, what? Like, I was, I, it was one of those things where you can see Ralphie's heart break in Simpsons. You can see my dad's head explode. Um, so I don't understand that because the wait time seems to be a part of that nostalgia and a part I of the experience so, yeah. and, and a part and of the anticipation. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. the anticipation yeah. and the theories and stuff. And now it's like and is it is 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 YouTube to blame? Is the eight it's second rule to blame? I mean I know there's not a love for not a huge love for the prequel trilogy, but I remember when Attack of the Clones was being made and StarWars.com would share like a picture like from mm. a set every day and just that just one picture and it could have been anything you have no idea what it is what the context is of it but the anticipation the excitement you get from seeing that you're just yeah. like oh. whereas now you just and you try to figure it out yeah. yeah 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 and jj did that with the force awakens too like there was a, there was right? a constant there yeah, and, and peter jackson had done it with the Lord of the Rings it's expected franchise. now right yeah, yeah the behind the, the, the scenes the content yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Just, just those little hints part of it also like you were talking about watching Star Trek every Friday with your friend. Like, you had to find someone who had the trilogy. Because like, not everybody had a trilogy. But now everyone has Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Or access to it. Yeah. So, I mean, I can watch Rogue One whenever I want. Yeah. And now Last Jedi. Yeah. 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 Could have watched it twice last night. <laughs> yeah. <Get> honor. <laughs> but there might be too much availability. Right? I mean, yeah, like it's really not is. quite as special as it was. It's a saturated right? market. That's yeah. a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why I was a lot more excited for Rogue One because it was new and it was different and there was mm -hmm. no hype, it just kind of came out of nowhere for me. Yeah. Well, and I thought that that really schedule made sense. I thought that, you know, you had the uh, Christmas holiday or, or whatever uh, and, and Force Awakens came out and then the following Christmas you had Rogue One and then the following Christmas you had uh, right. the, the um, Last Jedi. Yeah. And then you had five months later trying to get in the summer blockbuster period mm -hmm. um, solo, which I mean, mm -hmm. clearly didn't work. I, I think for a lot of reasons. Like, I actually do think that solo is an isolated incident. I, I think, think uh, just like, yeah. for, for, for no, uh, well, I mean, for a lot of reasons, but I think the biggest reason just being that I don't think that there's a young male actor alive outside of Chris Pratt, and he's already doing it in like six other fucking movies, <laughs> that can play young Harrison Ford. Like, I actually just don't think that that's the case. And, and, and I think that without that, like, like, because, like, let's face it, Harrison Ford is a once-in-a-generation talent. Mm -hmm. There's literally nobody like him. It's like there is no comparative Clint Eastwood. There, is, like, there are these few... There is no uh, um, Meryl Streep. There is no other comparative Anthony, Hop uh, Anthony Hopkins or Al Pacino. Or, like, there's just um, the, you, you can't find a young version of that out there mm -hmm. in the world, and especially not something that's so deeply ingrained in Star Wars fan culture um, or Jerry Fisher. Or we did find a young Lando. Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, oh yeah. did we? Oh, yeah. I was just saying oh, that, that Donald Glover is, is a once in a generation yeah. talent. Absolutely, really absolutely. Like he is yeah. prodigiously talented. That is the, the gem in this 
pile. Yeah. Well, and, and everybody that I know that that saw it was like, oh, I can't like that is awesome that he's in that. That's yeah. so crazy. But they were like, who's that? I don't care. Shut up. White, white, you make white. Like nobody, <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody cares about you. Every like, you should have made a fucking Lando. Movie. Yes, yeah. you yeah. should have. Yeah. Because because I think honestly that would have been expensive so and more popular. Yeah, sure. And and also he would have been able to fucking shoulder the movie. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, well, also, how much do we know about Han compared to Lando? You know, true. like Lando we has know. more untold. Stories yeah. and, yeah. Kind of like, yeah. and maybe that's one they went backwards. Yeah. Because I mean, Rogue One, yes, it went backwards and filled in a space, mm -hmm. but it was all characters that we didn't know about. Yeah. And I do think Rogue One benefited from us still being on the like that was the year of um, you know everybody being super psyched about Stranger Things, and we we're like, oh, nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Like we fucking we're still mainlining nostalgia when that movie came out. But now, if they make another movie about another fucking Death Star, like everyone is just gonna rip their fucking hair out. Yeah. Like, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. Like, great, you know, and, and I think I think that, that that movie benefited still from the goodwill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, that and I think Rickens, really the release the had something to do with it to too, the release date. They had they stuck with the May two four weekend area for all of them, for yeah. Force Awakens, for all the solo movies as well. I think it would have been maybe different. There would have been a year between yeah, Last Jedi yeah, yeah. and Solo. And also, um, like for me, that is I was pissed when they started releasing it at Christmas. I'm like, this is not Star Wars time. <laughs> yeah. It's not May the 4th, be with you. It's not fucking Christmas time. It's like... Christmas has been tainted by Star Wars. 25th. <laughs> May 25th is when everything yeah, came out. It makes sense there. to me. Yeah. Because it filled I'm the good void, with it now, it but... It the void that Lord of the Rings left. Right? Yeah. And the Harry Potter. Potter. Oh, Harry Potter yeah. was and Christmas And Harry Potter time. was Christmas. Yeah. So, so totally. it was, the, and, and Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings invented the Christmas blockbuster. Yeah. 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 And, and nobody could counter-program it, just purely from a business standpoint. It doesn't make any sense for a company that owns both Star, Star Wars and Marvel to counter-program against their own fucking content. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Like, the, there's a giant gaping hole where Christmas lives, where nothing Marvel is coming out. Like, don't pit Star mm -hmm. Wars, like, Solo against the Avengers crowd. Yeah. Like, that's crazy yeah. sauce. Mm -hmm. But it's because it came out on the day that Star Wars premiered, <laughs> sure. originally, right? And yes. that was the only reason. Maybe yeah. if they'd stuck with it, it wouldn't have done so badly. But at the same time, they should have just pushed it to Christmas. Like, yeah, everybody would still be not? looking forward to it right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. They wouldn't have had all that mess with the, oh, there's no trailer yet, and the movie comes out in two weeks. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we had just come off of Black Panther as well, yeah. right? So there was like, everybody yeah. had gone to that. Yeah. Everybody would, couldn't wait for the Avengers. Everyone could wait for Solo. Yeah. And that's yeah. just like, it's an unfortunate law. And I think it was honestly it was just a business mistake. Um, you know, that's, that's that. Right think. from the get-go. I would have loved to have seen Lando in the same amount of ratio time that... Mm -hmm. Solo is in front of the camera, yeah. and Solo has the Lando cameo. Totally right. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it just would have been yeah. hundred and ten percent. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we were talking about it too. Like he played not a young Harrison Ford, but a young Han Solo. Yeah. Like he yeah. kind of made the role mm -hmm. his own. Yeah. And he, there was enough like there were enough moments in there where you could see that he didn't have like a smirk or something. Like there it is, I see you. Yeah, right. um, but had he been a cameo character used, it would have been gold, Perfect. Yeah. solid gold. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but just enough. Oh my god, Disney, why are you hiring us to like break all your stories from here on out? <laughs> I mean, we're a I've got a day job, but... <laughs> I'm willing to walk, that's I, fine. I can still do stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, do we talk about the prequel trilogy at all? I mean, are we are we scared of talking about the prequel trilogy? Is there that much vitriol for the prequel trilogy? Did you hear Not that from me? It was a deep sigh. Oh, I apologize. I was I was like, I okay, I'm love, getting ready for this. Here we go. I mean, I don't love all of them, but there are sequences within all the okay. films that I love. There's, Take it away. Yeah, it's it's like the three songs per album rule. <laughs> okay. There's got to be three three good songs on the album, or I won't buy it. So therefore, sure. I need the three scenes from the movie, and I'll, I'll admit, Phantom Menace gave me the three scenes I wanted. What were they? Um, well, the, the big one was was the lightsaber battle. Like, that was just right. freaking huge. And I'm going to say, I was at the stupid midnight showing the first possible oh, chance. Oh, same here. Yeah. <laughs> Lined up overnight to get those tickets. And about 20 minutes in, I fell asleep. <laughs> I didn't fall No, fell asleep. I got nudged <laughs> wow. for, the, for the lightsaber battle. And I was like, oh, okay, this is pretty good. And then it was over, and I was like, well, is it time to go yet? Wow. I really hated it. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't give me my three things I want, and then I just can't. That's fair. And, uh, vengeful. I, so I have as never... As these coasters do. I have never... <laughs> as vengeful as we are. I hate that so much. 
I'm not going to see it in the theater. I'll see it at home, but I won't see it in the theater. I'll download it illegally. Well, <laughs> Maritimes, are you kidding me? No. There's still a dialogue. That's true. It's not <laughs> that. The bastard. Yeah. There's no illegally downloading things. They're no. still using ICQ. <laughs> so, I don't even know that. Yeah. Putting the phone on the Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Well. yeah. Have you ever seen it all the way through? I have. I have. Eventually, I watched it all the way through. Still don't like much of it. Um, no, well, that's like that. No. But there was there was fun little moments where you're like, oh wait a minute, is that Greg Proop's voice? <laughs> During the pod, yeah. pod race, I was like, oh, it is. And then I'm like, okay, that's enough, thank you. Uh, but so I, two. Yeah. Do you have a third? No, I don't. I don't it's even not, have a third. I just have the two. Okay. So I never watched uh, Attack of the Clones or Revenge of the Shit. I said, sorry, in the theaters, and uh, I waited years to watch them for free. I'm pretty sure I watched them on Showcase. Uh, wow, yeah. that's, those were some years. Yeah, I watched yeah. my showcase with the, the you know commercial interruption. Right. Whatever, I got time. Go to the bathroom. Whatever. Now this is scary yeah. because I read um, on I can't remember who posted the article the other day, but it was an interview with Lucas uh, before he sold. He uh, Star yeah, he had a plan for the Explore next trilogy. It was possible. Yeah, where it went back to the whole explored more of the midichlorian stuff and the, and no, the final trilogy. More trilogy. Senate no. like, disagrees. Like, like, you know, please, please. More Seriously. exploration of microbiology. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what oh. this franchise is missing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, are we better off now? Yeah. I think we are. I think we are actually. Oh, well, George. <laughs> I mean, we we got to agree. George Lucas is not that great a filmmaker. No. Yeah. He's an inspired no. filmmaker he, he, at times. He, yeah. We we're talking about this. Yeah. He's really good at the model making yeah. and all the stuff yeah. where you sit in your parents' basement. Like he's really good at all that stuff. Yeah. He was the Steve Jobs of this. Yeah. Stuff. Like, and, and, and like a tremendous visionary. Mm -hmm. yes. um, yeah. Yeah. And and that's fantastic. But in, and the in, whole original trilogy, he based in like mythos. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. existing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 No sense not to direct them. Yeah. Yeah. You really did. Write them. Yeah. He's Wait. the ideas guy. Yeah. You don't send the ideas guys into the boardroom. Did he direct Phantom Menace? Yeah. 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 That explains it all right there. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like Aaron Sorkin writing for HBO when nobody tells him no. And you're like, oh great, yeah, I need three ninety minute episodes about how the GOP is fucking bad as an HBO subscriber, because there's a lot of fucking Republicans that subscribe to this service. Thanks, Aaron. How <laughs> do you really feel? Aaron. I'm like, well, I'm like, I'm being like, we're doing a mock debate to prove to me that Michelle Bachman is caca for cuckoo puffs. Like, I can, I can watch the news. But I'm watching the newsroom on HBO. That's Thanks, how I feel man. about midichlorians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, but, but it is. It's just like, you know, you got to a place where, and, and listen, like those movies, like the prequel trilogies, were a fantastic fucking financial success. Like, yeah. they made more money than God. So, like, pff, what lesson is there to be learned? Nerds will pay. Shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes money. Yeah, okay. um, and it's okay to, to kill off the primary female character if she just is sad. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. prime um, directive was. I waited my whole life to find out what happened to Luke and Leia's mom, yeah. and she was just fucking sad. Yeah. She Come on. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Was sad. She was uh, so sad. She was my so whole heavy. life, she I had all, and again, I had all my theories. Yeah. I haven't hated on anybody because of what actually happened. But uh, like, I've even tried. I've come up with like some sort of Star Wars based rationale. For you know, because when he force choked her, I'm like, you know, some kind of bad force got in there, and that's what killed her. But I, it wasn't a broken heart. I don't care what that robot said. <laughs> what, is robot, yeah. what does a robot know about broken heart? Seriously, so you doesn't know much about science, because that's not a fucking way people <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> Science fiction, heavy on the fiction. Great robot. Great, 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 great. What kind of robot are you? Oh, I fix cars. Oh, great. can we get a doctor robot? Like, is there not one around? Right. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't let anybody else touch those scripts, right? Because yeah, for yeah. Empire, he had Lee Brackett and then Lawrence Kasdan, they all punch it up. And then, he, oh, I can't remember who helped him on Jedi. But, but he always had somebody help punch him up the dialogue yeah, yeah. And, and, mm. and tweak the sequences and, and well, and there are there are great stories of like when he screened the the, the first one, uh, A New Hope, to um, to like all of his film compatriots at the time, like like uh, Spielberg and yeah. Coppola and all those cats, and they were like, George, uh, we're really sorry, like we're really sorry. This is all like you need to like there need to be way more sequences of action and inside and, 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 and you know, visual effects and yada yada yada. And he did. And he he took the advice of his compatriots, which is exactly what you should do. Like you're yeah. all coming up and you, you you know, you were at you, you came up at a time where studios were like, We don't know what the fuck you guys are doing, but here's a bunch of money. Like it just doesn't happen now. Yeah. 
And, uh, and, and he listened, and he went back, and he did it. And it was, it was the same thing, you know, it was the same as Spielberg and Jaws. He just kept going massively over budget, and yeah. like, you know, down the torpedoes and full speed ahead, and, and listening to the people that we're talking to. And, and I think that's really important, because when you get to a place where you're so big and you're so celebrated that you feel like you can do no wrong, and that's where things mm -hmm. go off. That's what happens when it's at home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it was, yeah, you know. Um, Sorry, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just remembering Ewan McGregor like acting to green screen. He's looking, you know, two feet above everyone's eyes. I'm like, seriously, did, did you audition? I'm so, I'm so remembering the dialogue between Anakin and Padme. Where he's like, sand oh, is so soft, oh. and like sand, which is coarse. Oh. Like, oh, poor I was thinking about that after. Nobody like, could have made that work. Wait, <laughs> like, no one. And then he hopped into it. Eight or ten years old. Like, what does he really know about sand at that point? Yeah. Because he didn't really go back. No, but also, who fucking ruminates on sand? Right. Yeah. Like, uh, like the and that's great too, poets like, at least wrote about fucking trees. Everybody, <laughs> everybody took a shit on Hayden Christensen after those movies. He did. And to be fair, he was not given anything no. to work with. No. He was given piss poor direction yeah. because there is nothing you can do to save yeah. that. No. Nobody shit on Natalie Portman. Nobody shit on Zach. Zach that's Jackson. actually not true. Not, not nobody shit on. Didn't work for like. Yeah, know. but she's also a woman, so she has to take her <laughs> knocks in the, in the industry yeah, but as she gets older. Yeah, but it's like saved her career with mm -hmm. her. Closer. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. like, cause nobody was... Nobody was touching her. her. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she but she didn't get like the public money. backlash the no. same as... No. Exactly. None of them did. Which is weird because that's what we're seeing happen now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Rose. Right. Oh, right. Oh, because yeah. she was already an established actress, I think. Yeah. I think yeah, Emily Trump came out of nowhere for most people. Yeah. And the same with, I was saying, I don't even know. I mean, Facebook Laura Bern is even catching sense. She's not catching oh, yeah. any as much as, you know, as Rose is getting. But, uh, yeah, everybody's Tran, saying but, it should have yeah. been Leia. <laughs> I'm like, but, no, because when we would have been robbed of the whole second part of the movie, yeah. Her. Yeah. she was amazing and looked incredible. So is, is it just a bunch of white privileged males who are now upset that their their movie, their their experience is being taken away from them and being expanded to be more diverse and inclusive. Is that the problem or is it just because they're assholes? <laughs> I'm going to the second one. I don't think anything has to do with it other than again that ownership of and and you know, mom she touched my stuff. <laughs> that kind of mentality of like, this isn't my Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You and yeah. you get out. There's no girls in my fort. Um, and, and I don't know if you're experienced, but I've experienced a lot of, well, what do you know? And it's that fake, mm -hmm. fake oh, yeah. girl. Oh yeah, well then Even who is so Even before this, like growing up, I was the girl fan, so yeah. I wasn't always allowed to play with the action figures yeah. with everybody else. My yeah. brother and I played, and God love you, Ken, for letting me be the good guys and win all the time. <laughs> yeah, I was allowed to be Leia. Yeah. <laughs> yes! That's Seriously, it. it was like, we... That was it. And then wasn't, the jerky was like, time, shut up, yeah. our bed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad doing this, because then I can actually talk to about yeah. that guy who played Jar Jar, like, mm -hmm. trying yeah. to kill himself. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, I was just, I... We mm. were just talking about that, too, because we are like, if social know. media... <laughs> 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 that's what I was saying, and, like, I need to read this and harp... Oh my god, oh my if god. If social media was so 20 cool. years ago what it is now, like, a lot of those people wouldn't have survived the prequels. I... It just, it breaks my heart that, that people can be like, you ruined the thing. Right? It's like, no, there are legions of people behind me that mm -hmm. made that decision, and I am just doing yeah, my yeah, job. And example, try yeah. being a little less selfish, because for every little girl out there who looks up to a ray, or every little boy who, like, fucking laughed his ass off at Jar Jar when he was five. Honestly. <laughs> you know, like, you're taking away their enjoyment because yeah. it wasn't your thing. Right. Yeah. As bad as Jar Jar was, the, he was the kid's favorite. Yeah, and, 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 and Star Wars has always been a kid's movie. Exactly. Yeah. Even with all the ridiculous politics and trade sanctions. And, yeah. yeah. This is table Well, as you <laughs> Vader, like, choked that guy in A New Hope and threw his body to the side. <laughs> Just, Just kind of like flung him too. away. Um, <laughs> Where is the ambassador? <laughs> I don't know why I said that like the 30s. It was right! <laughs> now you're on the trolley. <laughs> I, I, I just, oh man, it, it, like it's, it's tough because I actually don't think the issue has anything to do with Star Wars or even Star Wars fandom. I think mm. it's just toxic internet. Like anonymity. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you're that's like, what it is. Yeah. You, you just like, you're saying that shit from a dark room and you would never say it to somebody's face right. because it's fucking racist. <laughs> Like, it, there's no way around it. It's yeah. just straight up racist and sexist and 
awful. So gross. And, and, and to be perfectly honest, if you were in a room with somebody like me and you said that to somebody, I would punch you in your fucking mouth. And then you would have been somebody who'd been punched in the fucking mouth. <laughs> and you would probably learn a bit. Maybe. Yeah. About how if you were There's a giant no fucking asshole yeah. to somebody, you'd yeah. get punched in the fucking mouth. But that, that, that yeah. like, regardless of punching, some, 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 some kind of consequence. Kind of consequence. Yeah. Yeah. You want to allow than... you to verbally yeah. abuse somebody yeah. in a public forum. And yet everybody, for some reason, thinks that if you sign up for a Twitter handle or Instagram handle, mm -hmm. or for some reason that you have earned a platform or that your opinion has value. Right? You, is everyone true. is entitled yeah. to my opinion is this yeah. new age of mm -hmm. social yeah. media yeah. where it's not just milk creating, which we did go through, where everybody was just kind of like sure. yelling into the void, which still yeah. happens. It still happens for sure. But mm -hmm. now there is that you are entitled to my opinion and it's a, it's a very toxic place. And yeah. I, I, again, as much as I am a, a, a very staunch feminist, um, I don't like jumping to generalizations and saying it's mm. toxic ma masculinity. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's any kind of yeah. gender or binary or any kind of like subset of this specific yeah. thing. We're all fucking doing it, right? And it's feeding into that toxicity where the lack of consequence mm -hmm. and the fact that if you know that person who, who tweeted that thing, that if we need more of a call out on that yeah. subculture yeah. where yeah. it's like, dude, that that is not cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, and report your friends and talk to them yeah. offline or talk to them privately. Don't don't always attack them in, in, in the public sphere because, because that also doesn't do anything. It yeah. just feeds the yeah. fire. Yeah. Or whatever. Right? Yeah, like, and like, my friends have been privy to that too, where you know, people are, are trying to trying to give them not necessarily consequence but perspective, which is hard to grit when people can be quite ingrained. Um, but that to take it offline, to take it into a private sphere so that they don't feel attacked or made fun of or any kind of like, look over there, let's make fun of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah right? right? And it is also tough too because you look at, like a lot of people have been made fun of so much mm -hmm. and they're coming at it with, like, again, and, and this is one of the wonderful things that Star Wars has done for a lot of people, especially people who were bullied as, as kids. Um, that, that it, was, it was like a way to weather that storm. Yeah, and so I guess like like it is exponentially more impactful when the story isn't told in a way that you believe it should be. But at the same time, that doesn't that I don't think that in any way is an excuse to bully others. Um, and I also don't think that that like like a civil discourse is far more beneficial to the betterment of the story. Yeah. And also, it's not like it, like an actor like oh man. I mean, like we just are trying to fucking pay our bills, man. <laughs> and then when you book a Star Wars movie, you and say you yes. Finally, make some fucking money. Seriously, you, you, you do whatever you can. They right. give you a script that you are in no way in control of because Disney is in control of it. And you just do what the fuck they tell you to do. It's not her goddamn fault. Yeah, they you told her like to the kiss story? him, so she kissed him. It's like getting pissed at fucking Hamlet because Shakespeare died a flippity jibbity years ago. That's <laughs> 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 Best thing ever. So it's like, why didn't that guy just kill? Well, because hey, Shakespeare died a long time ago. There's no sequel. Like it's not our fault. <laughs> Go to Stratford and be like, this is dumb. <laughs> that like the geeks we geeks had this as escapism and solidarity <coughs> and, and a safety yes. yeah when did it start becoming that toxic and i don't know i'm actually legit mm -hmm. asking that yes. yes. the yeah. walmart thing so one, oh, once, yeah. once you could start buying star wars stuff in walmart that's when it got ugly how interesting no it just it's just i might just be timing but it just right. felt to me that it, it all of a sudden it wasn't just like us trading Cards and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff, you know, like on the on the school grounds. Like all of a sudden, there was just so much shit you could buy yeah. everywhere. It wasn't okay. You had to go to Burger King to get the glasses. Okay, to go to Burger King to get the glasses. Exactly. <laughs> now you can get anything anywhere. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so it's not really the small group of fans. It's a bunch of people who kind of are interested, and they, they use it as a platform to just hate. Interesting. That's, that's yeah. actually so it's a new yeah. conduit of hate. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> it's got a new hope. <laughs> so it's not bad. Let's all die of sadness like that. Um, I think there's a difference too because wow. with the internet, it brings yeah, everybody together yeah. and not always in a good way. Right. So like, if I, I hate, hate something and I'm like, yeah. I fucking hated this thing, and then like 20 other people go, I fucking hated it too. Suddenly I'm powerful because yeah. I joined our hate, hate. Mm, and yeah. yeah, like, and and then it just kind of builds from there. So you have too. like millions of people <laughs> ganging up on one woman online as opposed to, well I don't think millions probably thousands though 
of people ganging up on a woman as, is different mm -hmm. from five of us sitting in a room yeah. Although, and talking yeah, face to face. For sure, and, and I do kind of love that she just we don't have our army Twitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because what like the wonderful thing that that did, although it's terrible that she had to quit fucking turn, but Daisy Ridley did too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Is is she is is it was just like oh, suddenly all of your opinions. And all of your hatred have nowhere to go, yeah. and you guys are just flaccid dicks. Yeah. In the wind. <laughs> and and that's so wonderful because it took almost it took like this was the effort it took to deball all of you, and that's wonderful because yeah. at the end of the day she's gonna be in the next fucking movie, yeah. and who gives? And a you're fuck? not. <laughs> and, and people are gonna go see that movie, and and all of the people that celebrated her mm -hmm. are going to continue to celebrate her, yeah. and all of the people that hated her are gonna just keep shouting in a dark room, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um. So long as they keep making the films, you yeah. know, and 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 that's uh, like. At the end of the day, she just took all of their power away from them, and that was wonderful. Like, and then the other like, side of it was the, the big movement, like the positive side. I'm a social media manager and, and community manager, and I love the positive side of the internet, where sure, people can too. rally in a yeah. positive yeah. way, and sure. hashtag Art for Rose was yeah. right. so moving and yeah. so lovely, and, and I really hope, I mean, she obviously had to have seen it, oh, um, yeah. but just not participating in it, yeah. and just, and seeing that love come through in such a tangible way, right? Like, it's not just like, oh, you know, gotcha. um, because there was the, with the with Ghostbusters, you know? Like, mm -hmm. Leslie Jones was picked on. Oh, yeah, was awful. And, and there was support and there was rallying, but Art for Rose was something different. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a little bit, I don't know, dare I say, more geeky? Like it was a little bit more like, you know what? It's all, it's, it's about what it looks like and we're gonna show you how beautiful this storyline is. Mm -hmm. Like they took it to a new level. Um, yeah. and, and I thought that that was really powerful. That's, sure. That feels like the geekiness the before Walmart thing. Like this, yeah. this is us yeah. geeking that's out. What yeah. I yeah. Am yeah. That's about. what that's yeah. what I that's what I loved about Star Wars. Because yeah. like, yeah. I can talk to you about it, we can, you know, we can have a little circle jerk about the sorry terminology. But we can geek out cursing like crazy. <laughs> 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 Just, just circle jerk probably aren't the two can, words can I should have used. I think I can come in your circle jerk. Um, but that being said, if I saw your shirt at a party and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I do at this fucking party, I see the shirt and I'm like, mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Oh, like, it's, it's the, you know, Lisa needs braces, right? You shout it <laughs> out. Learn. Right? And you I went to that guy. I will talk to that guy. In like 1991, I think, or 92, I went uh, to a Halloween party dressed as, like, two buns, white dress Leia. And people, like, this was in a huge, it used to be an arena type bar. Now it was a dance club. And people, everybody was in costume, and all night people were coming up just, like, freaking out because it was in the middle of the Star Wars. Yeah. black hole, right, where there's mm. nothing happening film-wise, um, but all the, the people who either, you know, obviously everybody watched it when it was <laughs> in the theaters, sure. but before the prequels, so everybody just kind of lost their minds and came up, and I was like, that was like a self-made little costume that I did, yeah. I had like pantyhose with stuff in it to make the buns. Yeah. <laughs> that's my Mara Jade, I but made her from yeah, like yeah. dollar star goods, and my people found me, yeah. where, you know, it was just mm -hmm. like... And that's like, that's, that's <laughs> art for Rose, too, because it's something that people have done. They've created something themselves yes. within the universe that's already presented to us. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I also, like, don't want to, be, because I'm kind of, to a degree, shit-talking. Like, I'm shit-talking negativity. I'm not trying to devalue the opinions of people who didn't like no, but there's a difference there. There's there's a huge, absolutely. Yes, there's a huge difference. Yeah, and, yeah. and in my opinion uh, of the film, and listen, like I'm not going to lie, I didn't super love The Last Jedi. Like, I, I didn't I, love I, Rogue I, One. I, I, I we can make that another show. Super <laughs> love. We'll talk, I'm sure we'll talk about those things. So I'm not even necessarily an advocate of that film, but I, I am an advocate of treating people well. Like, yeah, like yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And, and if you have not treated people well, trying to see the world from their point of view and trying to, you know, next time treat people well. Like, if you can, because, like, we can 100% of the time. Like, we are all going to hurt people. We are all going to be mean to people. We all are all going to be short-sighted and flawed. Um, which, like, it would be wonderful to see a lot of these people, like, the next film that comes out, <laughs> find some avenue in which to positively express. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't like it. Yeah. Even if they hate it, find some, some avenue to positively express that. Hopefully that happens, or at least some 
So I'm not like just trying to be doom and gloom, and I'm certainly not trying to just be negative. Yeah. Because I think that we like there's a way to kindly share disagreements. Totally. You like, can have differing opinions. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I tell that to the kid all the time. I'm like, you cannot like a movie. But you can't just say, I hate it and I didn't like it. You have to give me reasons. You have to explain yeah. why. And if, you know, talk about the characters, talk about the arcs, talk about the special effects, whatever it is. Yeah. But don't just say, oh, I hate it and it was stupid. Because, Particularly, yeah. 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 But do also, you, don't get mad at me if I do like it. Exactly. Because, really, what is this? Like, right. it doesn't mean yeah. anything to you if yeah. I like it. But there's so much content out there. Just like, literally yeah. move on to the next one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, or like Earth 2, right? Crying out loud. <laughs> That's your bag. Like, there's no shortage of sci no. fi over there. <laughs> Which is so great. <laughs> yeah, we have Star Wars to thank for that. Yeah, we do. Yeah, because, yeah. 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 okay, at one point there were six movies and I hated three of them, but I was still a fan. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now there's ten movies. And yeah. yeah, and I only hate. Three. That's a ton of good will, man. Like, the average is getting better. Yeah. 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 I think it's a little like Lego too. Like, remember when you could just buy Lego blocks and you could build whatever the fuck you wanted, and now everything's a set, yeah. <laughs> and you could build one thing. Yeah. Actually, you can get. You can build other things. You can get individual bricks too. That's true. Yeah, but it's harder. I, like, it's, yeah, I know. But like, that's the, that's the geekiness of it. Yeah, because then you have to go hunt it. Exactly. Find it. Yeah. Like find out pieces for a costume. Yes. Or Amazon. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to get a like a screen repair kit, and I went to like four Best Buys, and the last one, the poor kid, he was he's like 15 years old, and he's like, I'm like, so do you guys have this thing? And he's like, no, and I'm like. <sighs> I tried, man. I fucking tried. <laughs> this is gonna be at my house tomorrow. <laughs> you just didn't know what to do, and I was like, "Sorry, for this has nothing to do with you. This is all me." <laughs> I just wanted to give the store some money one time. <laughs> I tried. Can I just know, BB-8? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah, he was oh, a, he yeah. was one of your three top, good good songs. Uh, well, no, actually, no, the new movies. Like, I don't I don't really I don't have a whole lot of hate to be honest. <laughs> I, I, I and I found things again the three songs. Um, Rogue One, we we disagree on a few things. Rogue One, that's fine. But for me, Mads Mikkelsen, I never expected him to come into Star Wars universe. Yeah. And and like. And not be a cannibal. Well, <laughs> man crush. I mean, I'm watching the movie with a half chub. Just <laughs> God <laughs> damn. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I remember watching even Hannibal and just being like, I don't know how you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> it's crazy good. Just keep yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, just, it's just so. I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I didn't really think I was gonna like this movie, and here you are. It's fucking great, and yeah. I can't take my eyes off you. And, yeah. Yeah. Were we talking about it again? <laughs> <laughs> the circle jerk you're going to later. Right! <laughs> okay, With I, yourself. <laughs> I think that kind of leads into a nice little way to wrap it up. I'd like to go around the table and find out your favorite moment, your fa or your favorite music cue, something that is indefinably Star Wars for you. <sighs> like overall? Yeah, like if there's one scene, one moment, one look, one line. Or I'll go first. What music you do it? Empire. <clears throat> Knowing what I knew from the books and the Wookiee life deck. We talked about this. The moment where Han is going to be frozen in carbonite, and he basically lets Chewie know without saying it, you are now, you, the life debt is being transferred, and it's Leia. Nice. And you now take care of her, and you make sure nothing bad happens to her. And there was nothing really said. Mm -hmm. But I knew, you know, I knew what I knew from yeah. the books, I knew yeah. what I knew from the comics, and that moment just, boom, oh, huge. Nice. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay. I like that. Empire being my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I've got easily half a dozen, but I mean, my mind's, mind's a giveaway, mine's so easy, it's, it's, it's Luke on that, you know, ridge watching the two sunset. Like, oh, oh really? All the time. It, all the time. It's, it's such a poignant moment for me. Yeah, I mean, it's, when it's, I saw it's it. It's It totally is. <laughs> but, but it also has yeah, so much hope in that <laughs> one moment. That there's, there's so much there. There's so much life and potential. Like, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. life. This is, <clears throat> yeah. When he shows off his rock kicking with him. Yes. <laughs> I make fun because I love. There's so many. Mm-hmm. See, for me, Star Wars and most things in life are Muppets. 
so it's 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 got to be. It's. it's I want to be in your life more. <laughs> Dude, my phone keeps trying to autocorrect every f word to Fraggle. <laughs> I shit you not. Um, well, that's because you're an official Fraggle. I'm an official Fraggle. Thank you for putting that. I am. Um, check out Jay Foskett. Um, that uh, it's either Ewoks singing and dancing and being completely ridiculous and lovely. But also just everything Yoda is is, is quintessential Star Wars yeah, for me, and, and just the Jim Henson aspect. Mm. Did you see that clip of uh, Mark Hamill on set when uh, Frank Oz was doing Yoda for the first time? I think it was just a rehearsal. Yeah. It was just like, it's just, yeah. like, just yeah. gets to you. Yeah. <laughs> I was bawling through it, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, the fact that they went with real Muppet yeah. puppet instead yeah. of CGI, yeah. I was like, I'm in. Yeah. And that leaves two. Uh, I, I think Luke has two two moments that are really quintessential for me, but aren't aren't big moments. I mean, one one of the biggest gripes that people had with um, the Last Jedi was everybody just talked about hope so much, and it was just like very few people actually did stuff. They were just like running out of gas and talking about hope, and. Um, <laughs> And what I loved about A New Hope was some old guy shows up and he's like, you were a Jedi. And he's like, or, like you, your father was a Jedi and, and you're going to be a Jedi like your father was before you. And we have to fight the Emperor and we have to fight the Empire. And Luke was just like, cool, let's go. <laughs> like there was no like, well, but if we believe in nothing else, we've got to believe in him. He just fucking went. And when, and, and when Yoda in, in Empire uh, was like, you can't go because it's super bad if you go. He's like, my friends need my help, so I'm gonna go. Yeah. And I'm like, that's it. Like that for me is what that entire world is about. And, and I think almost every issue that I had with Jedi could have been fixed with just people shutting the fuck up and doing some stuff. <laughs> like I think Poe, in in in. Well, see, Poe did shut the fuck up and do stuff, and he's the reason everybody died. But well, that's well, well, no, I mean, <laughs> well, that, that being said, I think everybody died because. The powers that be were clearly didn't understand what they had in the, on their hands with Poe. They were like, "We don't know who you are, or that you are a rogue person." Who, just like, tell the fucking plan, man. No, he <laughs> totally was in how. no way. Could have just told them. But, but, um, but yeah, for me, that's just like that hero's journey stuff. It's, it's like yes. it's just the the person who's told that this is right and then believes it's right and then does and it. devotes their life to that. Like that makes sense. I love that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I don't have a moment. I don't think. I mean, I could say Luke jumping from the skiff onto Jabba's sail barge in Return of the Jedi. Because he was just sort of badass there and like pulls the guy out of the window and like goes and kicks him out. Because that was that was my Luke. Like, and then when we see him in Last Jedi and he steps out of the salt plains, I was like, that's my fucking guy right there. Yeah. That's my hero. Um. Otherwise, probably just the opening crawl at the long time ago, the right. film logo, the long time ago, the yeah. music. Yeah, every time. Every time. Even every seeing uh, when Anthony Daniels came and they did the, the TSO, did the mm -hmm. he narrated and they did all the musical cues from the films, and he just like read them and he walks out in his gold jacket and he's like, <laughs> long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> the music starts, I'm like bawling up in the balcony like a fool. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. Star Wars. Installment one of God knows how many. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll just call it Stallman One. Right. Uh, and then we'll change the title in a few years when right. we get into our next Stallman trilogy. One, a New Hope, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody, thank you for coming out. Thank Yay, you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Tuesday night? Wednesday night? What is this? Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yeah. It feels like a Tuesday. Right? But it was, yeah, it's great to have you. Hopefully we can have you back and talk more. Um, you know, and, and we'll try and mix it up with other things, and we're talking about things like canon and books and comics and, you know, all the stuff that's out there. Video games. Yeah, I oh, I, oh, I love my Lego games. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook, uh, Instagram, um, YouTube, uh, SoundCloud, iTunes, SoundCloud, Patreon, right all um, the things. Adriana has an amazing blog. You, uh, I am totally blanking on the name, though. Is this just me? Let's just try it. <laughs> Find me, Adriana Prosser. Yay! I follow this guy. We follow each other. <laughs> We've never met till today. This is pretty great. <laughs> See, Star Wars. Yeah, I know. IRL. People together. People. And, and I don't even know if you're on social media at all. There. Oh, I'm kind of quiet.
Yeah. He's, a, he's a hermit. Yeah. 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 Swipe happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I recently like fully deleted my Facebook and it was very therapeutic to me. It's quite liberating. I still have to I just stop scrolling. scrolling. It's easier never to have one. Yeah. <laughs> I just felt like Facebook was becoming too much of an echo chamber. Especially the news. Yeah. 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 I mean, I just use it to share all my articles. Yeah. yeah. I've got a typewriter. I stopped scrolling through other people's stuff and I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. We are in the Matrix, people! Let's have them all the pill! There you go. Right, on that note, we're going to call it the night. <laughs>